the mind reacts to the pain and pleasure experienced by the body atman is the witness of both and is not affected by the experiences of the body the emperor of the three worlds has built a beautiful three story mansion in this human body and he freely moves from one floor to another at his own will the three floors are the three states of waking dream and deep sleep pain and pleasure belong to the jiva and related to the body and mind but he who is within this body is observing both the states of the mind as the eternal witness things will go on according to their nature don't be anxious this world is always changing you have no control over them just watch everything as a witness since you are the supreme self the eternal witness of this world what if lust and anger attack you it is the mind which is disturbed and not you observe this distracted state of your mind you are not the mind but the supreme self the eternal witness of the mind what if someone scolds you or praises you you are in no way connected with that they all belong to the body and the mind you are the supreme self the eternal witness of the body and the mind what if someone offers you a large gift and another snatches it away these things belong to this world and you are in no way connected with them you are the supreme self the eternal witness of all that happens what if the mind is often restless or in a state of tranquility the self is witness of both the states of the mind and you are that supreme self the eternal witness what if you get a big position and are respected and honored by thousands it has nothing to do with you it belongs to only the body as a result of prarabdha you are the supreme self the eternal witness what if you lose your position or are insulted and humiliated by many why do you feel ashamed of it it has nothing to do with you it belongs only to the body as a result of prarabdha you are the atman the eternal witness what is it to you whether someone claps his hands inspired by your lecture or sleeps off bored by it why get affected you are the atman the eternal witness what is it to you whether you get good food or have to go without food it is the body's experience you are the atman the eternal witness what if you are a great thinker 
and are able to impress people through your power of logic and arguments. It is your intellect that acts. You are the Atman, the eternal witness of the intellect. What if you have executed various projects and schemes successfully? You say, I have done. I have done it. It has nothing to do with you. It is only your ego sense. You are the Atman, the eternal witness of the ego. What if the body lives or goes that depends on its prarabdha karma? Why worry so much? Health or ill health both belong to the body alone. You are the Atman, the eternal witness of body. When you go to sleep at night, you see an entirely different world, the dream world, the creation of your own mind. But who is it? Who is watching your dreams? That is the Atman, the eternal witness of all the three stages, Jagrat, Swapna, Sushupti. From the dream state, you enter the state of deep sleep. There, you feel happy even in the absence of any object. After rising from sleep, you express that bliss, saying, I have enjoyed sound sleep. Who has experienced that state of bliss, even in deep sleep? That is the Atman, the eternal witness of deep sleep. O oh my mind, some may extend their hands of friendship and some may slap you on the face. Why are you perturbed? In both dwells the same Atman. O oh my mind, someone may come to beat you or even kill you. Why do you get frightened? It is the body that will perish and not you. You are that eternal and immortal Atman. What you see through your eyes is the cross world, the creation of God. Who is that? Who sees even your eyes? That is Atman, your real nature. In your mind constantly pass good as well as bad thoughts. Who is it? Who is aware of your mind? That is Atman, your real nature, mind of the mind. Try to realize Him. Whatever you see in this world is but the glory of God. All fear of this world will disappear the moment you realize Him. As long as pranas are active in this body, so long the heart functions. It is by the command of the Lord seated in the heart that pranas perform their task. <laughs>